West, but now that cold air is on the move. It's worked its way across the Great Lakes and across the northeastern states. And this morning, we've got some record lows already coming in. Jackson, Michigan, down to 28 degrees. Muskegon, very chilly, too, below the freezing mark. And even around JFK, a very nippy start to the day as the mercury has dropped down to 39 degrees. But with all this cold air rushing in across the northeast, I sincerely hope that you had a chance to protect your tender vegetation last night. If you have a vegetable or a flower garden, Boy, it was a really rough night for some folks, and if you didn't have the chance to go out and protect your plants, when you awoke this morning, you had a very unpleasant surprise because there's probably a good hard frost for some spots. Like, look at that, 38 degrees this morning for Rochester, down to 30 for Burlington, Vermont, 29, though, for Albany. I was checking some observations up here around Saranac Lake, down to a mere 19 degrees. A good long hard frost up in that area. Meanwhile, generally 30s to lower 40s around the Big Apple and southward down towards Washington, D.C. Another cold start to the day, too, throughout the Upper Plains states. So if you're sending the kids off to school or if you're heading off to work this morning, you'll need the winter wearing apparel. It's down to the freezing mark for International Falls, 27 for Marquette. Chicago also very nippy with 37 degrees. And Des Moines, Iowa waking up to about, we've got numerous frost and freeze advisories that have been posted through Saturday morning in very chilly 20s and 30s as the mercury really bottoms out throughout the Northeast. It's one of the coldest spots I could find was upstate New York around Saranac Lake. That combination of clear skies, light winds, full-scale radiational cooling, and believe it or not, the mercury down to a mere 19 degrees for Saranac Lake. So certainly bringing an abrupt end to that growing season across the Northeast, as we've had some scattered frost across the area and a very, very cold evening, that's for sure. How about the wind chills? Well, when you factor in the winds, that makes it feel even worse. The wind chill currently for Minneapolis, St. Paul, down to 31 degrees, feels like 37 for Chicago. Boy, when you're stepping outside to pick up that morning paper, you'll be feeling it. Cool temperatures too for Pittsburgh and Philly and back towards New England. Again, wind chills making it certainly feel very wintry. Well, the reason for this cool weather has been this big dome of Arctic high pressure. It's been building in across the east, and it's helped to usher in that cool weather. But by the same token, too, usually with high pressure, we see fair skies. And we have seen a good deal of clear skies So then for the last uh, day or so around the Ohio Valley and back over towards the northeast. A nice clearing in association with that high pressure. But as Mark was mentioning, sometimes the high pressure can bring some bad weather, too, because the circulation flow around the high has been bringing in and some moisture across the deep south. Moisture continues to feed in across Florida, resulting in some rain showers there. And a lot of moisture, too, advecting northward back into Texas. 
We've had some really exceptionally heavy rains for Brownsville, Texas, far above normal for this time of the year at least. We've had some soaking rains, uh, some very heavy rain still in progress near Brownsville, Texas. But first of all, we head to Florida. Again, we've had some very soggy weather here the last several days. Today, no exception. We still have the remnants of an old trough of low pressure slicing across the state, and we have this easterly fetch, and that helps to bring in the moisture from the Atlantic. So with the moisture converging over the state along with this upper level low, and we've had the rains, showers popping up around Jacksonville and Amelia Island, down towards Daytona Beach, where we've had close to three and a half inches of rain yesterday, and more rains too, hugging the southeastern coast, and then trailing over towards Key West. Now keep in mind, that not everybody's picking up the rain this morning, but there will be that chance for more showers and thunderstorms developing throughout the day because the air mass is very unstable across Florida. Another troublesome area, though, is back into Texas. And certainly from around Harlingen and Brownsville and back over towards all around the Laredo area, it may not be a bad idea to keep the umbrellas close at hand today as we're seeing moisture feeding on in. Now, what you don't see is a low pressure area that has recently formed in the southwestern Gulf, and that continues to pump in the moisture across the Lone Star State. At the same time, too, remember Hernan, that hurricane yesterday? Well, that has since come inland. It's kind of skirting right across the Mexican coastline. Now it has been downgraded to a tropical depression, but it's still bringing in some moisture. Mid and high level tropical moisture has been flowing from Texas or from Mexico back into Texas. So that too is helping to enhance the rains here in southern Texas. And we'll have more soaking rains likely around Brownsville throughout the day. And then towards the west, well, some scattered showers too popping up around Santa Fe, Gallup, and back over towards Farmington, New Mexico. So kind of active too, even across the southwestern states. Here's our current weather map, and again, we have high pressure sprawled out throughout most of the country. An upper level low, keeping it active. Sunday in the northern plains and upper Midwest. Southwest remains hot for this time of the year with 100 degree or warmer conditions Saturday, Sunday, and Monday afternoon in the desert of Southern California and Southern Arizona. Precipitation again, very spotty on Saturday, mainly Gulf Coast and Florida. Sunday it expands slightly into the lower Mississippi Valley. A couple of showers in the upper Mississippi Valley too, along with wind. And by early next week, widely scattered showers extend northward into parts of the Southern Lakes near Detroit, Toledo, Indianapolis, Evansville, and Paducah, Kentucky. Big high pressure system in the West keeps the weather fair for the next several days. Spruce? Well, tomato farmers, it's an unstable summer of extreme wet and then dry conditions. The unusual weather patterns have put planting and harvesting back nearly two weeks. Ironically, the varied conditions have still produced a plentiful tomato crop for farmers. Everybody in Indiana, and as far as I know, Ohio, has just been amazed at the crop we're getting. Now, maybe after all these years, maybe we don't know what we're doing after all. <laughs> but with a tomato crop like this, ignorance is bliss. Make mine a BLT for lunch today. Uh, also a reminder, coming up Sunday in Vermilion, Ohio, uh, west of Cleveland, Dick Goddard's 24th Annual Woolly Bear Caterpillar Festival. So we'll find out what kind of a winter we'll have. That's right, we sure will. Stay tuned for information on that. We'll have it for you over the weekend. Stay with us. You've spent your entire life sleeping in an old-fashioned flat bed, but now you have the opportunity to find out about a better, healthier way to relax and sleep. Get this free information kit about Craftmatic adjustable beds. Call toll-free and a helpful operator will mail you a free Craftmatic adjustable bed catalog and this special rebate certificate. It's worth $200 off any Craftmatic Model 1 adjustable bed. Why is Craftmatic making this rebate offer? It's our way of saying thanks for taking the time to find out about Craftmatic. 
There is, of course, absolutely no obligation for calling toll-free and requesting this helpful information kit. So if you have any interest in adjustable beds, pick up your phone and call now. Call toll-free 1-800-901-9393. That's 1-800-901-9393 toll-free. 1-800-901-9393. Get a wake-up call, plus your local forecast. Call 1-900-WEATHER and choose option 6, 95 cents a minute. Thank you for calling Sam Satellite City. I've got some questions about that direct satellite system that I just bought. Yes, ma'am. Why can't I get all my favorite channels like I used to get with cable? To receive all the same channel combinations which are currently available on your cable system, you'll probably have to subscribe to more than one programming supplier. Will that cost more than cable? It just might. You didn't tell me that. You didn't ask. And why can't I get my local stations anymore? To get local programming, you'll also need a regular antenna. So a regular flavor. antenna. We have an excellent selection of regular antennas. Comcast, the best place for your TV. I want my cable. If you own a local business, you know that advertising decisions are not all black and white. In fact, effective advertising can come to life in a full range of colors and motion. For many local businesses, co-op advertising with Comcast Cable Advertising is the answer. If you own a business, manufacturer-supplied co-op funds can help pay for exciting, effective television commercials that show your business in action. Comcast Cable Advertising will help turn your black and white into... This is your local forecast, and stay tuned. The National Outlook is just ahead in our five-day planner.